So welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to port forward for Black Ops 4 here. This is the new Blackout version and this will be for the PC. I will be doing one for the Xbox and PlayStation 4. So subscribe so you don't miss out on that. I've already done it for Fortnite. I'll put links in the description so you can check those out if you play that as well. As I said, today's is going to be for the PC. Now I'm going to be using a R7000 router here from Netgear. I will do them on the Virgin route if you want me to. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. But this generally applies to all routers. They all have port forwarding generally, and they also might call it something called port filtering. So look in your options to see which ones you have, and then just adapt this to those, and you should be on your way. So the first thing you need to do, you need to know your PC's IP address. And to do that, you can push the Windows key, type CMD, push return on command prompt, or you can just click it. Type IP config. And what you're looking for here is the IP address, and mine's 192.168.1.6. What you'll also need to know if you don't know your router IP address is 192.168.1.1, and it'll come under a default gateway. You might find you have a few more network cards, but at the top here it'll say it's Ethernet, which means it's connected by cable. It could say Wi Fi. Just check which device you're looking at as well. Once you've done that, connect to your router. Your password can be on the base of the router if you've got something from Sky or Virgin. Now, once you're logged in on your router, you'll either have a menu on the top, on the left side, not generally on the right, the generally on the, the left and on the top. As you can see here, mine says port forwarding. This is an R7000 with a advanced tomato firmware added to it. So it's a little bit more customized, but you'll either find port forwarding or it'll be under something like security or it'll be under advanced, something like that, advanced admin maybe. And then you should see something like this table here with import forwarding. Generally, won't have any rules, and I've already got some here set. But you'll see something like create rule or add. So a few things to look at here is number one, mine says on. That means it's enabled or disabled, which you might see on yours. You've got the protocol, which is TCP, UDP, or some routers will allow you to put both. Today, I'm going to show you TCP and UDP options. For both, though, you have to have both external and internal ports need to match for UDP and TCP. On these ones themselves, they don't, so you're going to need to use TCP and UDP independently. Source IP address we don't know because we don't know the Black Ops servers or their IP addresses, so you have to leave that blank. We've got here EXT port, which is external port. You might also have external port start and external port end, and you'll have internal port start and internal port end. I don't have those options, but I'll explain where you need to put these numbers if you do. Internal IP address, which is what we just found, and the description. Now, they all might be slightly different, the headers, but they all should be very easy to map back to these. If not, let me know in the comments and I'll help you out with that, no problem. So, the first one we're going to be is TCP, and the first port number is 3074. That would go in the start port if you have that, and it'd also go in the end port as well because it's a single number. And internal, it'll be 3074, start and end port as well. Internal IP address is 192.168.1.6 as we found from the IP config on the command prompt. And I'm going to call mine Black Ops 1. Now you can call it whatever you like. It's just a reference so you know what it associates to. Click add if you have that. Some of them as mine has down here is has save and that will then commit the changes to the router. They all don't always have that. A good way of checking it is to go out of the options and come back in and just check the port forwarding has been added to the table. Sometimes it won't and you'll have to do it again which can be a little bit annoying. So make sure you commit the change. Okay, so the next one is 27014 as a start number. Mine's slightly different here. I put hyphen 27050. Now I'll explain why in a second and you'll see my internal port goes blank. So my router, as you read at the bottom here, means I can use a hyphen. One that allows me to do is, it allows me to commit it a bit quicker so I don't have to do so many additions in the routing table or port forwarding table. But what you'll need to do is add 27014 into the start address and the end address would be 2705. And that'd be both for internal and external. That's the only difference. Mine allows me to place it in one place without needing to type it multiple times. So that's TCP. Now let's do UDP. Again, we don't know the source IP address. And the start and the end port here, both external and internal, will be 3478. Okay, and that'll be your start end for external and start end for internal port. I can just put it in one place on mine here, as you can see. 
your local IP address, 192.168.1.6 in my case, and Black Ops 3. So I'm going to fill the Black Ops versions in. Okay, look. And the next one is going to be TCP again. Make sure you select this. No source IP address, and the start port is 4379. And the end port will be 4380. And that'll be the same for the internal. Start port 4379, end port 4380. Internal and IP address of 192.168.1.6. It'll be black ops. Boo. Add that onto your table. The next one is going to be 27000. Quite a long port. And the end port is going to be 27031. So start port 27000 and the end port 27031. For the internal external. Local IP address of 192. I always put 16. But 6 and Black Ops 5. Ooh, we're, the, we're going to the future now. You notice I didn't put um, TC, uh, UDP, so it needs to be UDP. And the last UDP port here is going to be 27036 as a start, and that's also going to be the end because it's just that one port. 27036 for start and end on the internal as well. 192.168.1.6 and it's Black Ops 6. Once you've done that, as you can see, I might have to click save and then my router is going to reset, make some changes. During this point, you might lose connectivity, so just bear that in mind for a very brief second. So that's it. Don't forget to click your changes, make sure they're enabled. There's the ports for Black Ops on the PC. Check out my gameplay as well, I'll put a link in the description because I've been enjoying some Black Ops and I've been doing some videos. Let me know in the comments if you want me to show you something else. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all again. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.